What's the biggest problem facing New York or London or San Francisco? Many people would say the high cost of housing. As cities have become safer and more economically successful, they have also become more expensive. Sky-high real estate prices seem to be turning many cities from places where ordinary people can find a better future to boutique towns that are affordable only to the already prosperous. The housing problem afflicts not just the wealthiest cities, but also some of the poorest ones as well. Yes, living in Johannesburg is cheaper than living in New York, but the cost of housing can loom large to an economically desperate South African. When we think about creating affordable housing, we need to remember that we need solutions for both Boston and Kolkata, and those solutions are unlikely to be the same. The first question this section asks is why is housing so much more expensive in some places than others? Are high prices driven by robust demand or limited supply or both? And will the high housing prices that we see in cities like Shanghai and San Francisco persist? Buying a house is often the biggest financial decision that a person makes. It seems sensible to think a bit about what keeps prices high. The second question is what should be done to make cities more affordable? Does affordability require rent control or housing vouchers? Should we be subsidizing new construction or adding units of public housing? And who's going to pay for all these policies? Restricting the supply of new housing is never going to make housing less expensive. But that doesn't mean that government shouldn't regulate new housing at all. What if all the new buildings just seem to be apartments for billionaires? Should London restrict heights to preserve sight lines of St. Paul's Cathedral? Should Boston stop building to keep shadows from falling on urban parks? Should cities preserve old buildings as a reminder of our urban past? Too many great cities have become too expensive. We need to understand why and what can be done about it.